Have you just gotten a new toy, an ATV, a side-by-side, -side, a four-wheeler, a motorcycle, and now you need a way to haul that to your campsite? We have you covered. Hello everybody, Travis at Rocky Mountain RV and Marine in Albuquerque, New Mexico. Welcome back. We just moved a brand new trailer into the showroom and I thought I might take a minute and show you guys how cool this actually is. Welcome into the Voltage 3845. The first thing we're gonna go over is all of the storage. Typically in toy haulers, your living area is a little smaller. This one's no different. The living area is indeed a little smaller than what you would get in a conventional fifth wheel or a conventional travel trailer, but it makes up for it with the garage that we're gonna go into here in a little bit. However, even though the living area is a little smaller, you still get plenty of storage. You get a residential stovetop and a really large oven. There are not many ovens out there as large as this one, and you can fit really a whole turkey in this. Do you need a big refrigerator and a big freezer? Well, this one's got it. Double door reefer, double door freezer. Cool thing about this freezer is there's no wall in the middle here. A lot of those have a little wall here, a little a bulkhead. Um, not this one, so you can put that full rack of ribs, that full brisket in there. Cool thing is this refrigerator is both gas and electric, so it runs like refrigerators and RVs have historically run, either off of your LP gas or off the 110 when you're plugged in. Your kids are going to love this little loft bed. I'm six foot two, and I fit in there just fine. It's a little short, but it'll work. Voltage did a pretty good job putting all of their controls kind of in one spot. If you come right in here, you're gonna see a lot. Max air controls, light controls, awnings, electric water heater, gas water heater, tank heaters. Uh, these switch between gray tanks and black tanks so you can use one monitor panel. Generator start and stop. Awning, uh, in this case, both awning extend and retracts. Slide out rooms. You can get to everything you need in one little compartment. The bathroom in this Voltage is pretty nice. Really nice shower, seats, little storage holders, all kinds of adjustments, plus it's plenty big. Again, I'm six foot two, and I've got plenty of headroom to stand in the shower, mainly because of this big skylight, which goes almost the whole length of the, of the shower itself. One of the things that I always look at when I'm looking at RVs is kind of where that toilet is positioned. Is it in a spot where it's comfortable to actually use? Can you shut doors? Can you actually sit down? In this case, it's perfect. Voltage has done a great job in the bedroom. Full king size bed. Nice closet. Little accent lighting. And then plenty of storage. Again, Lots there, coming down below, lots more here, and then you get one big armoire just in front of the, in front of the bed, acting kind of a, as a TV stand. Now we're going into what makes toy haulers unique, and that is the garage. You can store whatever you want in here, your motorcycles, your ATVs, your side-by-sides, uh, your kayaks, if you don't have any toys, toy haulers are still pretty cool because I've seen people set these up as dog rooms. I've seen them set them up as like big bird cages. I've seen them set them up as home offices, music studios. Your possibilities with toy haulers are pretty limitless when it comes to what you can do in this space. Here are your connections for your washer and dryer. And then next to the connections for the washer and dryer is the second bathroom. Above that second bathroom, you have your television and some more storage in the garage. And while we're up here, one of the cool, coolest things about toy haulers that you don't get with a lot of other trailers is this. There's one air conditioner. As we come into the living area, there's air conditioner number two. And as we come up into the bedroom, there's air conditioner number three. So you get a lot of air conditioning, you get a lot of uh, cooling potential in toy haulers. 
that you might not get in a conventional fifth wheel. My favorite thing about a toy hauler is the ramp door and how it doubles as a porch. I spend a lot of time in my toy hauler sitting on my porch, watching the stars, watching people back into their spots. It's just nice to be outside. And that's really what is so cool about a toy hauler. When you're sitting inside of one of these, everything about it screams, hey, go outside, which is all something that we should be doing anyway. But it's got all of the amenities for when that outside isn't very nice, you still have a nice place to stay. Thanks again for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe.